Hi guys. Um, so it's been a while since I did a video last, like three weeks or something. Well, maybe not three, but like two. Uh, because I had this like thing under there, and it was just fugly. So I, you didn't need to see that. Um, but it's mainly cleared up now. I mean, I've got that bit, and then yeah, but it's alright. Um, so I've got a subscriber. Thanks, Julia. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I know her. Um, so, and she wanted me to do this video on the top five things wrong with the Harry Potter. With not with the Harry Potter, with Harry Potter, which is hard because I'm a Potter head, and she's a tryhard, so that's why she wanted me to do it. Um, so, um, what I decided on was top five things wrong with the Harry Potter movie. Um. Because I felt like they could have been like so much better. They had that potential to be so much better if they just like tweaked a few things. Um, so number five is the actors not matching the book characters just like description, and they so easily could have done it. Like with Daniel's hair, they could have just like curled it or something, or like <coughs> put a wig on. And, and I know that he can match his eyes because of the contacts not reacting properly. But, oh, well, I'll, I'll explain what's wrong with that later. Right, next. Um, with Hermione's hair, they could have, like, crimped it or something. Um, yeah, they couldn't have done anything with Ron, but you get the point. It was just so... There was little tweaks that they could have just made. I mean, yeah, they're all great actors and actresses and everything, but it could have easily been fixed. And um, the next thing is Harry and Lily's eyes. Like, when they found out that Daniel couldn't wear contacts, J.K. Rowling said, okay, as long as they match. Like, Lily and Harry's eyes, when it came to that point, it didn't. So, I was having a conversation earlier with a Ravenclaw and we were just like freaking out because Harry's whole life had been a lie because like the last thing Snape said to him, the most important thing I think Snape like ever said was you have your mother's eyes. We're, well, it's not the most important but you know what I mean and like Sirius said, you look just like your father, except your mother's eyes. And it's like... Eah! And it's... Oh, it's frustrating. It is so frustrating, because they didn't even have to put contacts in. Like, they could have just, like... No! Oh! They could have found someone with the same colour eyes. I mean, they didn't really have to act much anyway. And, like... Oh, it's so frustrating. Um... So yeah, that's that one. Number three is peas. They took peas out. Peas is literally like the best thing ever. Like you don't know peas, do you? No. no. So. Is that bird's eye? What? What? Bird's eye. Bird's eye. Why? Peas. peas. Garden peas. Peas. Those. Oh, All right. See what I mean? <laughs> so, Piers is like, I can't even say a pathologist, something like that. And basically, he's like a ghost kind of thing that causes like menace around the castle. And he's so funny, he makes everything seem like funny. And I think in the last book, it was so important for him to be there. Because, like, Fred Weasley has just died. And, <laughs> like, in the book, Peeves, like, made this song up about Harry beating Moldy Voldemort. And it was so funny. But in the movie, I was just like, Fred! Where's Peeves? I need Peeves! Um... So, yeah, that's why it sucks. No peace. Ugh. 
Um, so yeah, you really kind of just need peas, the same reason you need the Weasley twins, only in the last book there's like, oh, oh Fred, Fred, oh my gosh. <sighs> Right, the next one really gets to me, right? Voldemort's death in the movies. He, oh. Right, in the book, he literally dies a human death. He just drops down dead. He doesn't turn it into butterflies. Oh, my God. It's so annoying because he's like, Ugh! and the whole point of Voldemort's death was to show that he was only human. He was a seriously twisted, evil flaming genius human, but he was human. And oh my god, it's so annoying because I, oh, in the movies they're just like, oh, let's make him fly apart. No, just don't go there. No. blood <laughs> pressure. Um, so the next one is something. That seriously gets to me, right? So, for those of you who just watched the movie, right, Remus and Tonks, they got married. Because they don't really pick that up. But they also have a child. That child <coughs> is called Teddy Lupin. And he, oh my gosh, it's so sad. Because he's an orphan. Because they both die. And... Oh, and like ha ha oh. Harry's the Godfather, which is even more emotional because, like, if you take it right, Harry was an orphan because Lily and James died in a war, and Sirius Black was his Godfather. So just think about it like that, because that is some seriously mess up crap. Because oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> I mean, oh, it's horrible, it is so horrible. And, like, what's worse, I think, is, like, you have, like, Alba Severus, James Sirius, Luna, uh, Luna, <laughs> I'm gonna say Luna Lily, Lily Luna, Rose, Hugo, what about everyone else? Briefly meet Scorpia, like, briefly. What about Victoria Weasley, who is Blur and Bill... Daughter, oldest daughter. Um, and the thing with Teddy is, he should, pardon me, he should have been in the last scene. Like, he should have. Because, like, I've heard that they did a scene with Teddy in and Victoria, but they deleted it. What good would have come of deleting five minutes of pure gold to make the fandom happy. And oh my gosh, Teddy, he, he, he is so perfect. He's, um, he takes after Tonks more than Lupin, so he's, like, not wolfy. But he might have had, like, we don't know much about him, only he was left an author. He dated, uh, Victoria, and he's Harry's godfather, godson, even. So, yeah, it really gets me, so, yeah, um, I might post another video up soon, and when my sister comes up, um, my oldest sister, we were going to do a video last time because she came up like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when was it? Yeah, yeah. two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Um, and then my other sister came up, so it would have been, like, we could have done a makeup tutorial or something, because she's really good with makeup. But yeah, we were going to do a video. But we were kind of like, woo So we were all over the place. Uh, um, but when she does come up, I've got a box of um, Every Flavor Beans. So we are <coughs> going to do the Every Flavor Bean Challenge. Um, so, yeah. So I will see you guys whenever I post a video next year. Bye!